Hi, welcome to this segment of the Menstrual Banjo Video Instruction Series. And today I have a topic that I think is really exciting and extremely important. And it deals with the figure of a triplet. And even more important than that is seeing the move of a strike within a triplet. I am using the material that was uh, previously mentioned uh, when we introduced the idea of the half strike and the full strike and the strike and a half uh, the double strike which is really just two strikes put together and your thumb moving and also the idea of the strike and a half with slurred or false or pulled notes. I'll probably mostly refer to those as uh, pulled notes. So let's look at the triplet figure at the bottom of that page and let's understand first what a triplet is. A triplet is a group of three notes put together that occur and uh, equally fill one beat. So you have three notes happening on one beat. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's look at that first figure and we are going to uh, uh, learn how to play that one. First, what you're going to do is you're going to set yourself up to have your second finger in that second position on the first string and you're going to give that a half strike which is the finger coming down and then you're going to pull that off okay so the right hand does not re-articulate that note with the arc above it okay so that's a half strike next what you're doing is you're setting your hand up for a series of two strikes you could call that a, a double strike but simply put you're doing two strike motions and that's how I'll refer to that so after you do the half strike with the pull off there then you're gonna set your hand off to do uh, two strikes like that okay so you got a half strike and then uh, a full strike that together you will get the illusion of the triplet and um, a groups of three notes okay and if you think of that and uh, rhythmically conceive of that as being two groups of three notes you're going to hear this the hand still maintains that simple motion of going up and down and that is contained within that triplet now in my opinion that is one of the components that makes stroke banjo uh, sound so unique and uh, different because you see this figure contained within so many of the early stroke style pieces and I think if you think of uh, finding the strike within the triplet, you're going to have a, a unique lilt to your music and your uh, performance that, that really makes it stand out and sound, uh, sound really nice. So once again, that first measure is this. Different angle. See that? Half strike and then two strikes, but it still makes the triplet. second figure uh, continues with that same idea. You strike the first string in the third position, pull that off, and then you have the same strike motion. Half strike, and then a full strike like that. So that second measure, that second figure goes like this. And the third one in 
involves that technique where you strike the second string in the first position with a half strike. Okay. Then you're going to do the pull off on the first string with like the third finger of your left hand and that simply pulls on that note and sets it in motion without the right hand striking it. Okay, so you get two notes out of a half strike like that. Now you combine that with the motion of the full strike after that and you'll get this. So you see the half strike with a pull and then the strike motion after that, the hand going down and up. A down and up motion within a triplet. Okay, so let's summarize and I'm going to put all the figures on that bottom line together. I will repeat each measure one time and then I'll do it a couple times with different angles and speeds so you can see that. So first I'll do it uh, a little bit up to tempo. Okay, that was each measure repeated. Here's a different angle on that. segment and really try to take that idea in and there will be lots of opportunities to execute this move in the uh, early material especially Briggs. Briggs has a lot of that and we're going to see that in the Briggs movements coming up in uh, a future segment here. In Briggs movements 4 and 5 you'll find that triplet figure. Okay, hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video.